I've been on a buying spree for the past few weeks, trying to get all the local 22 long rifle that I can find, and I've found quite a bit. 17,325 rounds worth. And even though it may look like it, I'm not being a jerk ammo hoarder, I'm actually using it because you know I recently discovered this Glock 44 22 long rifle Glock and this has caused me to start shooting considerably more 22 long rifle than I ever anticipated. I'm now averaging around 800 rounds of 22 per range visit just with this little gun. Add to that another 22 long rifle gun that I shoot regularly. And that's this little Rough Rider revolver. Well, I don't shoot it as much as I shoot this, obviously just for the reloading time alone, but still, a lot of ammo gets burned through that. And I also have this, you know, I knock Smith & Wesson, but I do get a lot of mileage out of this Smith & Wesson M&P 1522. And then there's Old Reliable, my old trusty Ruger 1022 that I don't even think I've cleaned in the last probably dozen range visits, but it doesn't matter. It's a Ruger 1022. It's just going to keep on working. And if all this wasn't enough to justify a large stockpile of active use 22 long rifle, well now I'm adding another gun. This is another 22, my first Browning. Now, I've been looking forward to this, so let's get it opened and see what's inside. Before I get into this case or gun bag, let's talk about it for just a second because this comes with the pistol. It's a nice padded case with leather and a browning logo here. Another leather accent here. Now online when I was researching this pistol, I noticed that they all had a red stripe. This one doesn't have it, so I don't know if they've just changed it or what. A little browning tag there. Very nice. I'm impressed with the casing. And this is my first browning pistol. As long as I've been into guns, I've never had a browning. And I'm kind of excited about this. Now, this has some oil on it, so I'm going to lay this off to the side for just a second. But it does have a mag in it. Comes with one mag there. It's also a packet here with some NRA info. And the Buckmark pistol, that's the model of this gun. Ooh, is that a stick? No, nope, no sticker. Just a buckmark pistol instruction guide, which I'll read cover to cover. I'm a big instructions reader. Of course, the safety lock and a second mag. Now, I also ordered along with this two more mags. And I ordered all this from CDNN Sports. So I got the gun with two mags, comes with the case, and an additional two mags. So four total. For $360 shipped was my pricing, but the pistol itself is actually $299.99 with a $25 mail-in rebate from Browning. That makes it $274.99. And here it is, all de-oiled, at least from the package oiling. And it is a looker for sure, at least in my opinion, with its bull barrel and the model on this is the Buckmark Micro Bull UFX. There's that bull barrel. My first bull barrel pistol, and I think. My first bull barrel gun in general, I think, I can't remember, but I don't remember ever owning a bull barrel, at least not right out of, right out of quick memory anyway. But you can see, this is a very nice looking little short barrel pistol, and it has some heft to it. There's some weight here, and there's a reason for that. Because you know this Glock, this is a super lightweight gun. Man, I shoot a lot of rounds through this, but because it's so lightweight, at distance, I'm not quite as accurate as I feel I could be. I think I need a little bit of weight to make me more accurate at distance, and that's where this is going to come in. Let me weigh it, see what we're talking about heft-wise. With the mag in the gun, but not loaded, the weight is 830 grams, which equates to one pound, 13 and one quarter ounces. Not heavy by any stretch, but definitely more heft than that Glock 44. And man, this fits my hands perfectly. I kind of have Trump hands. I don't have exceptionally large paws, but this fits me perfectly well. And this is a textured rubber on this grip, a very Browning logo there, a very, kind of hogue grip look to it. 
I like this. We'll see how it ages because sometimes, you know, this rubbery stuff gets tacky over time, but we'll see. But it fits my hand perfectly and my trigger indexing is very good. And speaking of trigger, look at that, that gold trigger of beauty. Even some texturing here on this side. And that works well for right-handed shooters. And speaking of which, you may notice no right side control. So this isn't going to be an ambidextrous gun by any stretch because everything is kind of set up for right-handed shooters. But being right-handed, that's a good thing for me. This is my first non-full slide pistol. Let's get this kind of half slide thing, just a standard blowback design. And sight-wise, the front sight there with the rear sight being adjustable, it looks like, for both windage and elevation. I see a Browning logo there, and I mentioned my first Browning, so I'm super excited about this. Now, it's a little, little stiff. That takes some pulling down, but I assume that that's going to loosen up over time. And I did watch a few videos on this before I purchased it and read a few reviews. People were saying that this is super stiff, but it loosens up. And because it's stiff, it's kind of finicky with ammo. So we'll find out. And I have a good spread of ammo that 17,000 plus rounds is from multiple different companies and different types. So we'll see what it does well with and hopefully all like that Glock. It's supposed to be finicky, but it isn't for me. Hopefully I'll have the same experience with this. But I'm going to keep it lubricated well, clean it up. And another thing, they said, I'll have to read the instructions on this, but I heard it said that you don't really want to break. They don't recommend breaking this down to clean it. You just kind of clean what you can see. Let's take a closer look at the mags. They're full metal. Some marking on the base plate. 22 long rifle browning. And these do have a load guide, which is important on 22 long rifle mags. But it's only on one side. I like them when they're on both sides, but... These slim mags like this usually. They're only on one side, but I think on a shooting bench, it's not going to be difficult at all. It's stiff, but not too stiff, so it won't wear out the fingers. The padded case, an extra mag, giving it a total of two mags, and some instructions. And of course, I added on these other two mags. And bringing my total again to 260 excuse me $360 shipped with the gun itself with the $25 rebate to $74.99 so not bad at all next I'm gonna take some of this ammo that I have see how much I can burn through it and at what rate I'm going to burn through it and see if I shoot it as much as I, I do this Glock and we'll see how picky it is so that's the end of this video, and next I guess we'll maybe see some footage of this on the range in an upcoming video.